Oh, he's about to ruin some dreams. Perfecto. Couple little warning shots down. Simple's already pushing down lane. Oh, the bomb is isolated. If he gets that kill, it's everything. Junior down to 21 HP. He's gonna get slowed. Now he's got a battle. There it is. Just one kill. JT one kill. does one trade kill. him off. If he had had a regular pistol on that flank, he would have got the bomb and everything would have been fine. But had to go to the duelies, didn't he, Jason? He did. Electronic gets Fang down. And without rearing the ugly head of any further Fangs, it's Perfecto that gets Grim inside of the site instead. As JT, they said this guy popped off. Last time, he needs an ace this pistol round. Seems the win condition against the map on Ego or against the, for the win against, you know what I mean. 39 seconds on the clock and he rotates over to the B bomb site. Contact is made, so Simple's gonna stick around after considering to fall back. And here comes Complexity. Hit trick down though, Fang and Grim finding entries. Perfecto falls, Simple as well. Floppy with a lovely shot on the AK. And just like that, the site all owned by Cole to be leading the way in terms of firepower. Floppy, Grim, and Fang, in my mind, is moving into that position as well. Needs to be decisive as to where to deploy the smoke in doing so. The smoke's from this tease. In turn, well placed. The lane cut off. Perfecto's in the open. This is an awkward spot for him to be in, but he's gonna use the pillar to perfection to try and dodge himself out of this situation. Manages to get two for it, and JT finally puts him down, but what a job done. To give the site a chance, JT catches Electronic working through. That might turn the round entirely, but as he gets aggressive, he runs into Simple, and we sit back to a two-on-two. -two. Bomb is planted for complexity. There is no kits in play and simple's gone and the round is well junior a lovely shot on a bit back and forth we go this is going to be real tough now for navi floppy is going to get a nice default plant navi's going to come for this obviously with the one-man advantage no kits though and just a couple of flashbangs being used right now it's all they've got it's all a brawl from here for navi there goes floppy five on three now junior and grim a little bit dinged up grim especially fang has got to hold the line he can get one that's it junior and grim need to work together it needs to be absolutely perfect and that's not it that's not the way they wanted to go so the seesaw continues They've got plenty of utility, much more this time. They've got two Molotovs, HE, plenty of flashbangs, couple smokes, so Navi can execute this in whichever way they'd like. Incendiary far side. Perfecto's gonna try and use that to get closer, knowing that they can't push through, and as he gets there, a flash from Bit arrives to make Fang completely blind, and they completely annihilate the secondary lane. Around they go, and into the site. We finally get back-to-back -back rounds. Navi gonna go four to two. And a four on three. Post-plant position coming in. Simple, unable to hit the first. Complexity responding, the man advantage, but Perfecto not done yet, is gonna turn back. Oh my goodness, Grim gets taken down, and a round like that would make me floppy as well because they were so close, and yet Perfecto just completely shut them out. Heroics from Perfecto. This is great, right behind the smoke as well. Fang didn't have a chance. This is the crazy one coming through, floppy. Hopping off that plant. I thought surely they were just gonna get the bomb down and play the after situation, but didn't even get there. You're still trying to find that angle. Oh, but what's up deep? Head trick's ahead of it, but it's gonna isolate him, and JT was ready for the fight. Could have been easily caught off by that. Haven't seen him get that aggressive in a while. Head trick not late in the round. He has, obviously, when he and Perfecto pushed to catch off the double door position instead, but that time on his own. Three-man advantage! Oh, they've got to capitalize! You said it, Jason, but Electronic this time comes out and finds two, and they realize there's no going back. They must fight forward toward the B site. They're gonna rush it to try and get inside. Smoke's already down, flashing through it, though. They do not want to give them the time to get the bomb planted. It doesn't matter. It's gone down. Electronic needs an ace. He's already got three, and he's got nerve and aggression and a perfectly placed nade that bounces back onto Floppy as Electronic wants to open the angle, and he might catch Floppy. He's got to make noise. You cannot be quiet in this situation. Oh, oh he had JT, and the damage was there on Floppy, but he could not find the kill. Simple alone, simple blinded and smoked off for the moment. Do they want to challenge him? They do indeed. He's going to get a tag. He's going to go down. Simple. A few oh, misses early on, but that's huge. That's huge for Head Trick to slow things down. Oh, great damage to the smoke from the SMG as well. Three on three, but Head Trick's still alive in cave. Can't spray it again that time because the pillar will defend him. And they've planted it so that it can't be seen as Electronic tries the same angle. That'll do damage nonetheless. And Floppy thought that, that the spam was coming from Head Trick. That's why he peeks. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He would have ex expected it was the same position and same player, therefore. It's down to Junior. He's gonna get a lineup. Oh, I thought he had the headshot lined up for Electronic. He's gonna get the kill this time. He will get the defuse, so this round goes their way. We'll go eight to three. Navi's starting to do a really, really good job of harass the initial map control from Complexity. Simple, that one's easy. 
Uh, no. Okay, well, I did not. It's probably because you dressed up as Barney every year. Simple, we're gonna take down Junior. Electronic has the angle to cut off Grim as well, so this is looking good for Navi once again. It is all on Fang, and even though he sneaks through middle, Bit was ready for his position. Nine to three for Navi. You know, tendencies and to make themselves comfortable in these situations, and therefore it is relevant. So it depends on how you look at it, right? This is nice. Oh, that is so fast from Simple to take Junior down. Lovely return shot from yeah. Fang. But that boost was so perfect, and Simple's like, yeah, now, nah. see ya. What are you supposed to do there? No fault of his own. Perfecto dodges the flash and comes in. Him and Head Trick with a headshot apiece, and Fang is the last one left. They know he took down Simple in mid. There's always been, a, I mean, since since time began, there's always been kind of that that obsession of playing like some of the best players, and it doesn't always work for everyone. It's it's not one size fits all, Matt. No, it's not. You, you, you get find your own comfort level. Why That's such a though? silly shot. <laughs> oh, utility and nades out. Simple. A couple shaky shots early for Simple, but now he's on point, just warming up into the game. Oh, that's beautiful. 11 and 8 for Simple. Oh, again. Having trouble firing up the walls on the left side. Not that that's so much of an eye peak problem because he was off the wall, but still, we saw that happen at the back lane on B as well. Good trade for Junior. He'll get bit down. Aug for him to work with, and he's going to try and get to the site. Little does he know that... Oh, okay, he did see it late. There's a player inside of the temple position, and Perfecto wins that exchange 12-3 to at half despite... So the economy fell out of favor for complexity. Yeah, I mean, not just the economy falling out of favor for, favor for them. Ooh, good shooting from Fang. Double kill out of nowhere. Junior is trashed and uh, Simple takes down JT. Okay, well, that was quick. Nice little exchange. Yeah, it's not just the, the economy getting ruined. Smoke. Immediate plants inside of it on the perimeter of the site. Grim can't do anything about that, but he can absolutely get bit as he comes out from the temple. Electronic back at the big box has a teammate in the form of Simple, who now has to do it all himself, walking back out from Long A. And they're going to get ever closer to the bomb. It continues to tick. It's halfway through its duration. The fact that there is a kit on Floppy is certainly promising to the situation, more so with the smoke on top of it. Simple sees the first coming through, needs to find the second. Uh -oh. I don't think he knows he has a kit. He doesn't. He has no idea. Thought he had time to go for the reload. He did not. And although he hits a lovely little shot afterwards, it's Navi conceding the pistol to complexity. Simple going for a timing shot, but he's giving away the game. Let's see what good that can do. Complexity pushing up. JT's going to get one as well. There's some of the lighter weaponry down for the fight. Head trick with another. Looking for backup, calling teammates in. This complexity is pushing forward. They got to be careful. Simple, it's his time to shine. He knows they have control of Bomb. Good control onto the headshot. One versus two, and Junior takes him down. Look at the double push, though. Floppy's going to come out here. JT's ready to go. They need a smoker support from Junior. No, they don't. JT just goes straight around the corner and gets two on his own, but Head Trick does the same in return. And poor old Floppy fell to the ground exactly as such. He's provided a lot for complexity in this game so far. Three on three. However, Grim's going to be held towards the B-bomb site. Fang able to grab one. Head Trick, he needs another trade. He needs another one to go for it. And he just had too low of HP from the earlier battles. However, Bits, uh, Bits got some precision. Oh. So does Junior. Bombs in A. There's no one there. Perfecto alone has kept all three of Compl Complexity's players on this side of the site, and that kill irrelevant. Yeah, that's a bummer. And now the bomb's just going to be a free plant. Head trick. Good crossfire setup, though. Full temple control for Navi. Bit and head trick. Both set up perfectly for any retake coming from this position, and is it ever coming into this position? Bit with the first. Surely another trade soon from Head Trick. A little bit of an off angle. Fang getting harassed. Simple goes for the peak. One on one now. It's all on Junior. Head Trick getting aggressive, and he almost grabbed the head. Back to the other choke point. Another defuse oh, yeah. inside the smoke. No, it's a tap. I don't think he's got time for it, though. He's got to just stick it. He goes back for the stick. Oh, with the kit. It's huge. And Hedrick finds him. Oh, well man. done. Bomb's going to go off. Hedrick won't save the weaponry, but Navi gets their I first thought... round. Split towards the A bomb site. Fang is watching for this in CT spawn. That smoke is going to block everything off. Hedrick goes one for one. Now Fang off angle, but Electronic snaps over. That's beautiful. Junior needs so much more, but he's got to come back. He's got to check his own flank. And now the smoke that Navi used to get into the A bomb site is blocking off the rotations. And it's a two on two in the post plan. Electronic with seven HP. Seven HP, but perfecto along the side. Electronic goes to the AWP, given that situation, just wants to hit the shot. Can see the gun barrel, but good patience. 
knows now exactly where he's going to be peaked from. The matter of time is the question. Tries to fire into a flash that was set with his name on it. And JT not only gets an easy shot at him, but nails perfecto. Complexity showing a little bit of skill in this game. I'm very curious. I don't think I ever saw him with an op in Liquid. Opening kill for Electronic. Grimm's got one. He was blinded. Readjusts to a new position. Shot out. He's got success with it. Nearly got aggressive and found a third. Sparring off with Simple, but the second AWP will take that man down as Simple is found through the lane, and it's all on Perfecto. And a one on three. Complexity are looking like they could take this. If they're not careful, Perfecto with two, but Floppy stands up and gets tall to take down the final kill. Is up. Second one as well. Couldn't quite land, but Floppy gets the information. He fires away. Stepping out, he'll find a second as well as Head Trick falls, and Simple's actually going to back off that one with 18 HP. Meanwhile, Electronic trying to find another access point on the map is going to be found by Grim. It's all wow. complexity, man. All complexity. We're going to have a 13 12 game, and they have control of the economy. What an incredible turn of fortunes. Floppy can clear T spawn, find an easy kill from behind. Simple goes down towards the end of the round. Oh, bit. Oh, my goodness. Love to see those from his position. Just two stunning shots. Junior's going to have to do the better in return. Now, fortunately for him, the Molotov extinguishes in the air. It does not land, and therefore, he can still take a stance with the AWP at the lane. He's going to hold in the corner for now, though, knowing well that they are in position and staring him down. What a scary position to find himself in. Even smokes himself off, but he's not going to move. Navi would love to take all these weapons. Remember, it was a half a half buy for Navi in this round, so their money is all of a sudden, they're flush with cash. Don't push forward to take any more guns away. There are the shots. That's the first one. The second one as well. Junior under so much pressure in that corner, he has to drop a smoke. You're exactly right to escape, and it's the exact smoke. Didn't take me long to pick up a gun again. Tough off angle to deal with for him. Oh, but Bit knows exactly what it is. He peeks right into it. Electronic with another one. Even spots Junior in mid as well. So the call is there. Now the bomb is tracking a little bit late towards this bomb site. Simple makes himself small, makes himself invisible. JT going to push in. He's going to go down. Oh, you love it. You love to see it. He knows he's got two. Absolutely simple. That's what we expect from him, and it's all on Floppy. One on five, he will at least get simple down. He follows up to get electronic. Hang on, little life in this man. He's had a 1v5 before. He's going to have to flop like a fish out of water that's desperate in this situation because he needs an ace and a one on five. Perfecto. Mike caught off by it, not expecting him to go back around. He does hold the angle and hold his nerve. 15 to 12, and Navi find his teammates. Try and salvage this round and keep them alive in this game. Good kill from Fang. Great trade from Head Trick coming from the other angle. Fang having to get aggressive to get that AK-47. Bomb dropped way back in middle. Navi still spread across the map. There's 30 seconds left on the clock, and Complexity's going to gamble. Or perhaps not gamble. Perhaps they have a little bit of a read. But two players at this site. One player with a lean. That's a huge kill from Grim. Up top. Oh, another one. He follows it up with a deagle. Three kills from the Complexity deagles. Sick for Grim. That could have been a... JT now holds inside of the cave with Head Trick and Perfecto heading in that direction. Flashes out. He's got the off angle, but Head Trick wins the duel. Little do they know that Floppy was there as well. He sprays them both down, and here comes Fang popping out of the closet and into the middle position to take another kill. Oh, Fang's done great in middle. Famas winning the duel against Electronics AK-47. Bit, it's his turn now. And they do have that scout holding the angle. Oh, not anymore. Simple takes his head clean off. And you mentioned he has that brick of C4. He's going to get it planted just now as Bit pushes forward. Two from Cave and one to push the smoke. They might catch out Electronic here. He's got to be so careful. Simple gets tagged again. He goes down to four. I don't think Bit's aware. I said Electronic. Excuse me. I was going to say, I don't think he's aware of the player to his right. But he made too much noise. Gave him too much time. And it's really about this AK right now. They're going to try and face it down. And Bit's going to close the round. 16. Rounds for Navi, Ooh. and maybe a bit more tense than they would have expected against Complexity. Absolutely, but the huge impact from Bit was, was incredible. Either way. Uno for uno. Electronic inside of the pit, already trying to do damage up towards CT. That's going to put JT in an awkward position, but he seemingly didn't get the memo because he's got a lovely shot up over the ledge, and Junior does the same. But Bit and Head Trick do 
converged for two and now have it back to that many on either side. Well, we go down in the favor of Navi, although they're stacked on the site. Bit of an awkward position. Smoke toward Cat. They'll hopefully get one back onto the ramp, potentially. I don't think they have any knowledge as to where they both are. One's dropped down as well into CT, but together they will win at least one more battle to allow it to be just floppy trying to rotate around. And at this point, he has to consider that both are there. Both are on the platform. He's going to see both of them, but at the same time, it's too much for him to handle, and Bit wins out the round for Navi. I think Junior's been spotted, but Simple surely would swing after head trick. There's the flashbang out. There's the peek from Simple, and he's got it. Junior sticks around just a bit too long. Ambitious to find the equalizing kill. And yep, just as I mentioned, Grimm's doing his best to find a play that he can make to bring this round back or make it at least winnable or doable and gets punished instead. JT at railing with everything to do. Ooh. That's pretty good. He's having himself a game today. Triple kill for JT into a two on two. One more would be something special, but Bit's got him. He just barely overstepped the mark. Didn't know Bit went that far. That was a headshot position that could have worked out. You're absolutely right. Interesting to know. Head trick as he was the one swinging wide uh, out of catwalk, had a Molotov that he could have used inside the bomb site. Chooses to follow the instructions rather than play the game that, that he wants to play. Mm. Yeah, there is that. I think that mentality when you step into a team as well, because does Navi have the courage to just cross long without any kind of indication, without any noise, any smokes whatsoever? Starting to run just now. 2-2 two, two split. Complexity just need to find a way to work together, and it's not going to happen. They're getting peeled apart and spread thin. Nicely done from Navi. There's the op hitting the deck. Junior's got to try and grab that and bail out, but it's not going to happen. Bit doesn't even bother reloading. Steps forward, gets a second. Junior, this time being in a slightly forward stance free kill, easily takes down head trick. He does have to go back through the flames, but he manages to do so before Bit arrives. That's a lovely shot to turn around and find Grim on the edge of the smoke. And here comes Electronic up long. They want to use the elevator, but it might be out of order because it needs electricity. And they apparently press the right button because Fang finds him walking out. Floppy on top of the boxes. The only B defender, Bit, is going to push out mid. Can't handle the rotation, can't handle the support player. Perfecto needs to spot. Oh, give it away his game. Give it away his position. Simple's got it. Simple's got a chance. One versus three up in the B bomb site. We know how doable this is. We've seen it plenty of times before. Two ops against him. Three ops of the four players left alive. They know exactly where he is now as he free fires to the door. Can't hit the second, and I think he's out of time. Fang's going to get the angle on him behind. And finally, complexity get on the board. Five to one. Four round lead for Navi on the T side. They've got plenty of cash in the bank. Perfecto has 8,600. Head trick and simple, a little bit low, but that helps. Five on four and one of the ops. But a pretty good job from Fang, all things considered. Bring through the smoke, and Bits is not having any of that immediately. Erases him from the round. JT's got to be careful. Flashed, blinded, forced away, and firing into it was therefore unable to defend himself. Had they gone aggressive on him, no one else in middle. But he does get away to the B sites. Deficit scenarios, and Electronic has done just a great job of it. Getting more. Indeed, JT can't respond fast enough. This is the other op that he's trying to take out of his hands. Floppy. Flip flop. Flippity flop. Bit with the bop. Flashes out, bits the first around the corner. The smoke as well down below on the cat box. Whether or not intentional to be above or below is going to get them around the corner. No one from ramp will be able to see them. Bit finds the first kill, but Grim has one behind. Head trick down. Bomb as well, though. Planted. Lovely shot again from Bit. Give me that man's accuracy. I'll take it all day. JT with a scout gets up above, though. Hang on, because Floppy has an AK. He's got a kill as well. Simple suddenly stranded, stuck between the boxes, goes back out. He'll get both. He'll get JT, but one more still to find as Floppy works his way up from long. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Complexity. <laughs> made this work, but Simple has other ideas. And two from Bit, three from Simple, nine for Navi. How to isolate 1v1s. The intuition to pull that off is so impressive and multiple different angles as well. That's a gut punch for complexity. Happy they made it close in a half by round, but here we go, lower dark push. Complexity starting to dig deep into the playbook, trying to recover this half, trying to come back into it. They still have a chance to close the gap, a chance to make this respectable. Not pressing the issue up the stairs quite yet. Good opening kill. And because they're pushed now, though, like their, their response is kind of limited at the moment. This aggression has got to work. It must work. Simple falls asleep at the wheel. 
hits the snooze button, but they still handle business. His teammates followed up, and oh, Fang, this is ambitious. He has to have gotten the call that they're both so low that they've both been dinked, because he's coming up with a pistol through flames. He's trying to mop up some easy kills. Trying to Cajun be the situation. Oh, good old Cajun. God, I miss that guy. What a, what a legend. Electronic takes down Junior. No, obviously, no information of where Electronic might be. And so Navi's going to get away with it. And Fang's going to back off. Perfecto, here's the running. Oh, knife's out. That's... Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. He uh, gets away with it. Head trick using utility on Catwalk to make it look like an A hit. They want to try and pull that rotator, that supportive player at the B bomb site, out into the open. Fang was already there, but he did go for the peak. Floppy's now been spotted as well. Oh, there's only so long. Yeah, bit over the top, and it's time to save for complexity. No issues on Dust2 today for, for, for Navi. Electronic with the shots. He can hear them running, so he knows he can get through the first door. They'll swing it, they'll spam it, and Grim gets baited by a nice jump, although Junior has simple down. Head trick comes around and takes out him, and oh. Okay. I don't even remember actually anything I took in. Like, I don't know. Jerseys and marbles and all kinds of little goodies. Racing affiliated things. I know one time I did take in my mom's Wayne Gretzky autograph though. Nice. Kids thought that was pretty cool. Canada. Canada. Good shot from Fang. One more. Oh, He's got by. simple right around the edge of the smoke. Nice shooting. They've got another round here, no doubt about it. They're going to make this 12 to 2. Remember, it was 12 to 3 that first half last time. Nice nade, though. Fang goes down to 5, but Perfecto going back to try and recover the situation, knowing that he was going to be flanked. Grim gets the kill, and they're on the board for the second. Deduce that one well, Jason. Well done. <laughs> oh. Junior almost with a flick, but Grimm's got him covered. Nice headshot. Grimm's been, I mean, look, it's its kind of been a, it's an interesting game because I, Complexity's been so worked on this map as a team that individually they can't really shine, but Grimm's had some nice, like, isolated fights. Probably, yeah. As uh, Grimm holds inside of middle, the bomb down in that position, they desperately want to recover that, but they're trying to time it through the spam, and they get away with it, so to speak, as Perfecto goes down to 28, and Electronic gets caught, and Floppy on the flank. They get three, 12-3. We got that halftime score again, Jason. Booyah, baby. Electronic's going to make his presence known. Fang with a very late flank up catwalk. This could actually be... Be massive, excuse me. Bit, if he doesn't expect this, they're in trouble. Electronic creeping up. Oh, he nade out. Oh, that's Baby. beautiful. Second headshot. And Fang has got to give up his position. He's got to give up the game. Junior, close up. One more block. There's Fang as well. Oh, this has somehow turned out so well for complexity. What a flank from Fang. That's ridiculously good, Fang. And now, how do they try and find the round in this situation? Perfecto trying to work his way up, but he's caught off in a crossfire. Floppy with the kill. Electronic gets one back on Grim, and he gets back inside of the corner, but here comes the swing from Floppy. Simple hits him, though, too. Not done just yet. How is this still, plants. How is this still in contention for Navi? This is actually so impressive. Two beautiful shots with a scout from Simple. He's going to oh, he's gonna reposition Floppy and Fang. And I don't know, they might get actually stuck. Actually, excuse me, they're gonna push forward. Big win for Bit. Now that's gonna isolate Fang inside the bomb site. Remember, Simple's out towards Long. He's tagged up. He knows it's a possibility. Now he sees both. Oh, what a tough situation for Fang. We need more heroics out of him if complexity is gonna build upon that pistol round win. There's a little bit of a shot. Simple trying to find him. Fang under so much pressure. Finally gets it, but he's dinked up. Simple over the top. He's got it. Swapping out to the Galil. What a round from Simple. Triple kill. High risk, high reward position for Simple, but he's trusting the fact that nobody's gonna have the courage to peek that corner. He's trapped though. He's gotta push forward. They were encroaching from long and from catwalk. Bit with a huge flank, three on three post plant and head trick here for the boost up. Imagine using an M4A4 these days. And happily capitali capitalized, excuse me, on that in the time, but now he's gotta work on his own and they're both staring him down. Oh, Junior. Junior's in a good spot. Perfecto gone. He manages to get one kill, but Junior's going to follow it up. 13 to 8. Complexity continuing to roll. Long becomes sort of a, a standout feature of this map. It's more common than a mid battle in so many ways. Floppy is going to get bit. That's a decent recovery from mid. If they can open up this B site, they've got a real chance at this round, but that means going against Perfecto. And he's got one already. Junior holding out in middle, though. Catches electronic in rotation. And the bomb getting planted. It's a two on two straight up retake toward the B site. Oh boy. 
They're going to work together. They're going to try and get trades. Junior needs to be ready for this, though. AWP in hand. He's holding in the tunnel. And if they are indecisive about his position, he could get caught out very quickly here, even if he only hits one shot. They're going to double the position. They're going to double the play. He's going to get traded. That's going to signal, though, that he's coming from this direction. And the stand-in has to stand out, but he will sit down at the way of Fang's gun. So cat corner smoke and a Molotov to clear sight, trying to force the movement from the CTs. Missed shot simple as they went for the drop down. That forces Perfecto to have to slide the ramp. And as he does, they know that means he's given up the platform. And goodness grim, all the way down long will take out Simplest Jr. Arrives late, he'll hind head trick. It's all to bits and the bit between his teeth. I, yeah, I like it. This is, like you said, young players, bravado. This is the kind of confidence-building game that you want for them, really. Nice thing is, look at Simple's cash. He's got an op in hand, but he's got 3,200 in the bank, so he'll be able to have that money, or that have that op whenever he wants it moving forward. Bit. Oh, good transfer upward. Grim, a little bit slow on the take. Another Molotov coming in, and there's no way that he's getting out of that one. Head trick used his good graces earlier. He leaves middle. That's exactly where they're going to go. And Simple needs to be aware of that possibility as well. This is a deathmatch angle timing. all day long. This is what I do nonstop. And he absolutely has timing, but he knows. And he doesn't even need to shoot. Headshot. Oh, he goes for it. That's going to call Simple out, though. And Pit manages to take down Junior on the second one. A lovely shot over the edge of the wall. And Fang is stuck between a rock and a hard place that I don't even think he could bite his way out of as Bit kills him off as well. They'll continue... Simple smoked. Self-smoke to give preservation through the smokes at the cross, though. Perfecto able to get Fang. That will aid Simple's position as they throw an incendiary out as well to keep him off the platform directly. Simple flicks. And Grim is removed. It looks nice for Na'Vi at this point in time, considering how desperate it was just a few rounds ago. If you fire through that car, still on the ground, has not been picked up yet. There's no utility for Floppy and JT. It's all fights from here. Floppy knows where Simple is. He has to overexpose himself to other positions. It might not even matter. Good shot from JT. He's going to find Simple and now swing up on railing. One versus three. Bomb is down in front. He's got it now. Back to the site. Trying to keep Navi off match point. It would have to be something special, something incredible. He just doesn't have it in him. Good peek from Electronic. Slide down the wall. Electronic having evaded all of these bullets is going to be in a lovely position when that smoke does dissipate. They check pit oh. and turn around somehow to find Simple as Grim runs. This is going to be shadowing and overwhelming, overpowering Electronic down. And Bit and Perfecto in a five versus two. Big boy smoke to protect Bit, although he almost gets taken down right through it. That would have been horrible. And I love this. Complexity. Hunt. You've got money. You know these guns are so much more important to Navi than they are to you. Good find, Grim. Oh, quad kill. Perfecto is on the off angle. Crosshair placement. The lasers show. They're checking it. They're walking in. This is a tough one, though. Did they check that quad? Yes, they do. Lobby with the kill, but Bit has JT. They've given up the site directly, but look who's already behind them. Simple shuts down Fang, jumping back out. Nothing for Junior. I thought he was going to nail it. Second time he tries oh, no. and can't. And now he's removed. They know he's well out of the site, well out of the picture. They just need to be quick and concise about clearing Floppy, who gets in behind the box. Simple can't fire at the first one. Junior's going to be on the horse trying to get behind them. Hedrick has both, and they know they've got this. They know they can stick it. They know he was back towards spawn. Get on the bomb now and hold it. And this one is over, I dare say. Junior trying to get inside, but he'll be reminded by Simple not to go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Navi, put them in their place, but that was an excellent effort you have to say from complexity yeah but you got to feel junior is going to be haunted by that 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 round is going to play out a million times as he tries to fall asleep